Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. By now you've heard that Google has finally released Android 4.4.3. This has been heavily anticipated and it turns out that it wasn't as huge of an update as we had originally thought. In fact, it pretty much just contains lots and lots of bug fixes. Most of the new features, most of the new features are things that we would actually use on a phone like the Nexus 5 or the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, such as the updated people app and the updated contacts and the updated dialer. Other than that, there's all kinds of under the hood features, camera update, Wi-Fi update, Bluetooth update, and there was even an update for random reboots. I know on my Nexus 10, I experienced all kinds of crazy random reboots and it made me almost want to throw the thing away, but this update is said to fix that. So you definitely want to make sure that you do update to 4.4.3. Now you're probably wondering what is the easiest way for me to do it. If you're 100% totally stocked with stock recovery, the easiest way to update is to go into your app drawer, go into settings, go to about tablet, and check for an update. Just go to system updates, it'll check for the update, it will download the update, it will boot you into stock recovery and flash the update. Simple enough. If you're on a custom ROM, you could flash back to stock uh, which would give you the stock recovery and then you could do it that way or in my opinion the easiest way is to download a ROM and flash that in your custom recovery. Twerp, Clockwork Mod Recovery, Fields Advanced Touch Recovery, uh, any of those will work. The build that we're going to be using today is the stock 4.4.3 Deodex pre-rooted build by Scott of Scott's ROMs. Uh, he also goes by Scrossler on XDA. He's the developer of Clean ROM. Many of you guys know him, he does excellent work. This ROM is just another example of his awesome work. So what you'll want to do is download the ROM. I'll give you a link in the description of where you can download that ROM. You don't have to worry about GFs, they are included. And then you'll power off your device. Okay, once the device is powered off, you'll go volume down and power at the same time. Okay, and then you will scroll to recovery mode and hit the power button to boot into recovery. So if you're on 4.4.2, chances are you'll be okay without wiping data. If you're on any other build, 4.3, uh, if you're on any ROM, such as Clean ROM, if you're on CyanogenMod, AOKP, Liquid Smooth, uh, or any of the other plethora of ROMs, you will want to make sure that you do wipe data. But the very first thing you want to do is back up your device. If for any reason 4.4.3 doesn't work out for you or something happens during the flash and messes up, and you're stuck in a boot loop, you can always revert back to your Android backup. Uh, also, if there's anything important, any kind of files that are saved on your device, once you wipe your device, those will be gone. But if you have an Android backup, you can always access any of those files that you may have forgotten were on your device. Uh, so you'll just swipe to backup. This takes about 15 or 20 minutes, and then you'll go back, and then you will uh, wipe data if you're on anything other than 4.4.2, just swipe to wipe and then you'll install and we're looking for the stock root deodex KTU 84L 4.4.3 select that and swipe to flash I've already flashed it so I'm not going to do that now but give it about five to ten minutes to flash when it's finished you will see a successful screen when you see the successful screen you will reboot your device as soon as it reboots We'll take a quick look at 4.4.3. So you'll see not much has really changed here. There's not a whole lot of new features. There, Like I said, there were some camera updates, some Wi-Fi updates, some Bluetooth updates that you may benefit from on your Nexus 7 device. Um, other than that, we just have a new updated build of Android. Of course, with all the bug fixes, things should run a whole lot smoother. Battery life should last a little longer. And everything should be just an overall better experience. So we'll go to About Tablet. You see that we're on build 4.4.3 on the Nexus 7, and the build number is KTU84L. If we tap on the Android version, we get the KitKat Easter Egg, and the only update to the Easter Egg is the version number, Android 4.4.3. So anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for Android 4.4.3 on the Nexus 7. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future. You can find more of me at droidmotorx.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.